Crafty Crafty, please do hit that subscribe button below and make sure that you also click on the little bell to turn your notifications on. It will let you know every time I upload a new tutorial. It's completely free to subscribe and it's well worth doing. So today we're going to be making one of these and this is a candle and you can see it's got a photograph printed on it. And this is using water decal paper so we're going to go through that now. So we're in design space and the first thing we need to do is import our picture or our photo, whatever it is you're going to use. So we're going to go to upload, we're going to go to upload image going to go to browse and you're going to find your photo or your picture now we're going to save this as a complex image and you can see that the background is already removed I did this using the iOS app PixArt it's a great app to be able to remove backgrounds really easily and I use it all the time but there's lots of different apps uh, and programs out there in which you can remove backgrounds from photos if you want to. So we're just going to save that as a complex and go to continue. We don't need to do anything to the background so again continue and then we're going to save as a print and cut. The only thing I need to do to my image is size it up so I want the height to be five and a half inches and then I'm just going to leave it like that so we're going to go to make it and you can see it there on our print and cut piece of paper and you can see it also says print and cut so we're then going to go to continue first thing we need to do is send it to our printer so I'm just going to choose my printer and then you need to choose whether you want the bleed on or off so if it's on, around the image will be a kind of blur, and this does get cut out. It just acts as a buffer for your print and cut. And then if it's off, obviously you don't have the blur. I choose to have my bleed off, it's just my personal choice. But please don't panic if you leave it on and when you print it out you see it's got kind of like a blur all around it. That's normal and it will disappear once it's done its cut. So we're going to go and send it to the printer. So I'm using water slide decal paper today from a company on eBay, Mr. Decal Paper. I get this all the time, it's great. Now I'm using my makeup, but on my air and my makeup I use exactly the same setting, which is medium cardstock. And the reason for this is because it cuts all the way through, which is what you want with this. So I cut it on medium cardstock and it works great for me. So this is the water slide decal paper. It's got a shiny side and a matte side. You want to make sure that it prints out, so it prints your picture onto the shiny side. So our picture has printed out and I've also cut it. So if we just gently remove it, you can see it's cut all the way through which is exactly what we want and we're just going to gently come in and lift it up so you do need to ensure when using this decal paper the one that I'm using that you're only using an inkjet and you want to make sure that your ink is fully dry before you move on to the next step so once your ink's fully dry, you are going to need some clear sealant. So I just use this crystal clear Rust-Oleum, which is just a spray paint, which I got from my local uh, DIY store. And it's absolutely brilliant. And it's just a clear protective film and it will seal your picture. So you want to make sure you give your can a really good shake. And you're then going to go in with a light spray. You then want to leave this to dry for about 20 minutes. You're then going to go in with a second coat and again leave it to dry for about 20 minutes. And then you're going to go in with a third coat and again you want to leave that to dry as well. It's a slightly long process but the great thing about it is, is that you can get on with other things while you're waiting. We're then going to go in with the second coat. 
And again, you want to leave that to dry. And then finally, we're just going to come in with the third coat. And again, you just want to leave that to dry. Once your decal paper has completely dried, you're then going to need a bowl of water. Now I just use cold water. It always works for me. Some people say lukewarm, some people say warm. Uh, I just use cold and it seems to work fine. Now you're going to place your decal into the water and you're going to leave it until it's going to curl up and then it's going to go kind of flat and that's when you know it's ready. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute. So you can see there it's curled up straight away. So I've got my candle ready, I'm just going to check that my decal's ready just by going in and gently trying to slide it, which I can. So I'm then going to remove it from the water and just give it a little shake. I place it on my candle where I'm happy and then I'm just going to come in and slide away the backing paper. And you can readjust it and make sure that you're completely happy with the placement. We're then going to get some kitchen roll and we're just going to go in and gently start dabbing it just to remove that water. And then you want to leave that to dry overnight.